I put my voice memo on record. I'm sorry, guys. All right, here we go. Anywho, my name is Miss Sophia the Diva. I'm originally from Dallas, Texas. Now living in the beautiful city of Long Beach. They say that everything is bigger in Texas. <laughs> but I have no idea what they're talking about. And yes, my loves, this is all mine. There is no Home Depot shopping going over here. <laughs> Kim Kardashian, eat your heart out, boo boo. <laughs> and I love having it but this size. It's very economical for underwear shopping. It doesn't matter what size panty I buy. Any full size panty eventually turns into a fall. <laughs> it's very economical. Let's see, what's going on? Miley Cyrus. Yes. You don't want to talk about her, no. So recently I was reading the news that a woman was arrested for twerking in front of children. And I'm thinking, where were these same cops that could have picked up Miley Cyrus at the MTV Awards? Because it is scary to see her twerk, and she ain't getting that. <laughs> Pop it a little. Come on, girl, work it. Anywho. <laughs> Anywho, I recently gave up wearing a long weave uh, for several reasons. As you know, I'm black. That's obvious. <laughs> and uh, we, we like to wear other people's hair from time to time. And so I recently also recently almost became a YouTube sensation. You could title my uh, video Fifi and the Burning Bush. Yes. I was in another comedy club being a sightseer, purveying out the talent. And I was sitting there talking to my friend. I said, I know they fried chicken in here, but I smell pressed hair too. And she, the lady behind me goes, ma'am, your hair fell in the cat in this live candle and it caught on fire, but I took care of it, thanks. Uh, then I was going through security at TSA and I go through the whole x-ray machine. Next thing I know, they're telling me, ma'am, we need to pat your hair down. I'm just like, do I have bombs and grenades in here? Y'all think that? <laughs> and then Beyonce's got caught in a fan and I was like, yeah, long weeks are dangerous. So we're gonna work with it. I did try wearing my own hair, but that didn't work out. It was all pressed and nice and looked like Michelle Obama. But two days later, it looked like a wire hair terrier. And I said, this is not going to work. You must put a weave back on. <sighs> the diva is tired, people. The diva is tired. Diva is tired of being picked up by men on bikes. And I ain't talking about Harley Davidson. I'm talking about white beach cruisers, okay? Yeah. Just the other day, I was running down the street minding my own business, and oh my God, who rolls up on me? Debo. And if you watch Friday, you know who I'm talking about. Just follow them to me. <laughs> hey, little mama. And I was like, I don't know if he's not talking to me, but yes, he is. Let me entertain his crazy behind for a minute. And he was like, Ugh. and I looked at him and said, Oh, this dude got on cut off shorts and some flip flops, so I know he not working out, okay? <laughs> and speaking of working out, sir, where is your shirt? You are not in shirtless shape. Yeah. Gold's Gym is your friend. Yeah. <laughs> and then, the other day I was standing in line at this club waiting to get in. I look up at the wrong time from my phone, I'm smiling, I make eye contact with dude on a beach cruiser who rolls right past me and gets excited because he's like, ah, she looked at me <laughs> and busts a U-turn on this white beach cruiser to my head. My name is Zora. You look like you like jewelry. I'm an enterprising man. I sell jewelry online. I said, oh, really? Do you now? I said, yes, I do like jewelry. I said, do you have any business cards? He goes, see, what had happened was my friend, Mama died. And we were at the repay, and I passed out all the cards. I said, ooh, enterprising man, white beach cruiser. Needless to say, he's meeting my mom on Sunday for dinner. It <laughs> work out great. Uh, Melanie was up here talking about relationships. How many of us are single, you know, or in a, let's say we're in a committed relationship with a lovely man. I have been in what I thought were committed relationships and found out that I wasn't because I got something called the call from some random female cursing me out. I said, this shit will not happen again. So what I started doing was if another female ever calls me, this is my solution to it. Bling! Hi! <laughs> Who is this? Did you know that 
and Charlie was married, blah, blah, blah. And I'm gonna be like, uh, no, I didn't know that Charlie was married. As a matter of fact, that's not what he said while I was cornholing him. <laughs> And for those of you who don't know what cornholing is, that's when a woman puts on the strap on and a man oh. bends over and takes it up. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> she will hang up and she will not call back. <laughs> and real quick, I'm going to talk about my dad. Okay? My dad is one of those people who has no filter. He says whatever he thinks is part of normal conversation. We're out one night, we're driving. He's telling me all these wonderful places that he, he hung out at, kicked it at with his homeboys. We get to this one particular corner, he says, and on this corner is where I used to buy my crack. I said, crack, daddy? I said, you used to do crack? He's like, yeah. But, uh, you know, I stopped doing it when they started drug testing at the job. And I was like, when was this? He was like, late 80s, early 90s. I said, huh, that explains why that $50 I asked you for for my school trip never showed up and still lost in the mail. I don't think so, daddy. <laughs> Needless to say, he tried to make it up to me. He bought me a strawberry shortcake bite. I said, Daddy, it's too late. I'm 30. <laughs> Thank you all. You I'm going to bring up another wonderful comic. His name is Matt Walker. I don't know where he's from, but he looks like he's going to drop some on you, okay? Yes, sir. I'm going to drop.